All right, guys, monsters, duelists, and whoever watches my stuff in this planet, it's me, Ghetto, back again with another video, and we're going to be tackling Pegasus with a deck that's much more successful than the last deck I posted. This one has an average of a 90% guaranteed win with a good farm if you, as the player, don't mess it up. And obviously we know that Pegasus has uh, monsters that uh, are tunes. Pegasus is an adult that likes cartoons. And uh, honestly, I don't judge him because I'm, I'm an adult and I like a children's card game, Yu-Gi-Oh. Which is really fun, so I just don't care. So, here we go. Uh, the way this works, Dan, look, he just summoned three beast monsters on me. So I'm going to put this card face down the bird that puts him on defense mode and uh, let's summon our clown posse insane clown posse and uh, let's see what this guy has in store for us he's gonna attack us no sir I'm not gonna let that happen heck no that's a lot of damage <laughs> and then next turn we could just oh, we got pants labyrinth let's summon the zombie clown the so we got a real clown on a zombie clown and uh, let's uh, let's let the clown attack the annoying harpy tunes. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna see that I end my turn. So what is this guy gonna try to do? Attack me direct again? Well, I'm going to activate my Pan's Labyrinth. If you guys haven't watched Pan's Labyrinth, the movie, you guys got to go get on that. Whoa. I am going to activate our Delight Sun. This guy. Kill. Oh, no. That's the worst. That's the most OP card he has in this game, man. That trap card, man. I hate that trap card. Paramalization. Whatever. And her turn, we get to pop another monster, and I am popping that Toon Cannon because that guy could do some serious damage. Oh, Pot of Dichotomy, another Pot card. All the Pot cards in this game are, uh, some of them are useful, some of them are not, but whatever, so I, ain't, I ain't complaining. Now I'm going to get attacked directly. Look at that. Oh, wait, he didn't attack me directly for some reason. Oh, well. Benefits to me only. So, we got the rabbit, right? And that rabbit allows me, when I end my turn because of Pan's Labyrinth, I get to destroy two monsters on the field. Dream Clown. Pop his Little Mermaid. And Bunny. Pop his Wannabe Robotron 2000. Bomb bomb. It's like I had a shotgun and I just double tapped. Plop, plop. Killed both of his monsters. Whoa, summon skull. That's a dangerous card. But fortunately for him, I got a dream clown that will go to defense mode next turn and just pop it. Uh, another shotgun. Kaboom to his face. Both of them, it's just double tap. Plop, plop. Make sure he's dead and it won't come back to life. Right? And uh, from here on out, guys, the duel is very simple. He's not going to be able to do any damage. And uh, this deck guaranteed you usually always win if you have the setup already. Like this setup I have with the Rabbit and the uh, Pan's Labyrinth. We're 100% in the clear. We are not in trouble right now. We got this. In the bag. And uh, yeah, I admire Pegasus' uh, creations of tunes. Because... Uh, if I were a creator, I would be making different type of cartoons. I would have had like a, a cartoon, Yu-Gi-Oh card cartoon of a, a Dragon Ball Z card. Like I summoned the legendary Super Saiyan in attack mode. Have you guys ever played that uh, Dragon Ball Z card game? I like Dragon Ball Z, but I, that card game was... I thought that card game was, was pretty whack, not gonna lie. I tried to play it, but I didn't like it. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just ideal. I don't know what it is about Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's so much fun. Yeah, guys. So this is a deck I'm using. It's simple. You don't really have to think much. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you don't have to think, 
you're 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 kicking butt. And uh, since let me let me since we just since he already used that trap card, Miss Shizur, we could we could just summon our blue eyes. Honestly, guys. So let's tribute these two cards. Put our clown in attack mode. Enter turn. They're gonna go in defense mode. And uh, everyone got one of these shiny polymeristic blue eyes, so you'll be able to get the the polymeristic uh, bonus for sure. Let's set our Curse of Anubis just for the hell of it. Uh, Ender turn. Ooh, a wild tornado. He got me clean, guys. He got me clean. Psych. It's not that that's going to do anything to me. We still got this. Oh, he summoned a big old strong monster. I'm scared. Oh, this guy's going ham. What is he going to do? Psych, I got my Curse of Anubis. Turn all my monsters to defense mode and I get a shotgun blast my own monster. Get out of here. Yeah, this deck is super simple to use, guys. Like, you don't really have to uh, worry much. Attack and turn. Like, you don't have to worry about him. The only thing you have to worry about is that Mammoth, the one that he just summoned right now. But we got a Blue Eyes on the field. So, and we can finally use our Destiny Draw. So we can choose what we want to get. And uh, the card I say we should get should be, shall be. Let's just get a Pan's Labyrinth. Whatever. Keep the Pan's Labyrinth combos going. Attack mode. Uh, and let's just kill this uh, mammoth, cause uh, I'm an anti-mammoth advocate. I'm do not like when Pegasus summons that thing on me because he does do some serious damage to me. Summon. Let's activate our Pan's Labyrinth, right? And uh, let's end our turn. And uh, from here on out, smooth cruising. We're just riding the waves, guys. Because we ain't worried about nothing. We ain't tripping about no shark attack. We're, we're in the clear. We are in the clear. Attack mode. End our turn. Yeah, I have to discard a card. And we don't really need this rabbit anymore. So we can toss the rabbit away. Ooh. So, we're almost done. We got the desert. Uh... I'm a polymerization, so you get that extra polymerization boost by combining. What happens when you combine a real clown and a zombie clown? I don't know. We'll find out right now. Let's do some chemistry. Oh, we got a jack in the box. So we got a jack in the box or jack in the crack. How we say it here in the hood. You know, you live in the hood when you go to a jack in the box and you get, you have to order your food through a speaker. <laughs> And then you get your food through one of those, you have to open this metal, metal plastic door. Alright, this is where we do the combos, guys. So, first, we summon our piranhas, right? Our vicious piranhas. Then we activate our secret pass to the treasures to make this piranhas jump over his monster and eat his face. And, uh, next... We are going to activate, uh, let me see, what's the better method? We could activate, uh, Ryoku, right? First, we activate Ryoku, get the blue eyes energy, give it to our piranhas, and then you can use the gift of Martry, whatever this card, this old man getting his life absorbed, and, uh, I recommend always using blue ices. Activate it. Get blue ices power. And give it to your piranhas. You can get the fusions power. But I, I just recommend taking it off from blue eyes. So you don't forget. And then. Uh, basic. Direct attack. To his face. 10,600 damage. And that's how you farm Pegasus. At a consistent rate guys. So let's see our dual assessment points. Hopefully we do we did well. I'm not sure how well we did, but let's see. 
We got we got a super rare, awesome, and uh, seven thousand, awesome. Ooh, almost eight eight thousand, but whatever. So you're always guaranteed seven thousand at least minimum, guaranteed all the time with this deck. All right. I want to say like, comment, subscribe for future videos to come, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a YOLO pool to uh, finish off this. Uh, this video so let's go to the shop let's see what the top shelf are today and the top shelf is the comply compliant chaotic compliance so without further ado let's just get to the purchase and hopefully we get a super rare come on one karibo what's up with just once i want five uh we got this uh i don't even know what this is but it looks cool kind of reminds me of dr doom uh, an old lady getting married and the uh, crystal seer this card's good i'm not gonna lie i use this on my deck right now but i already have three so it's all uh, whatever so yeah that's the end of the video uh make sure you guys let me know what you guys think and uh let me know what decks you guys are using yourselves all right to the next time peace out everyone who watches this